Spice Hunter, yeah. All right, so I was gonna record this at a different time, but I just decided, hey, right now is a fine time to do this because I'm hungry and I've been eating a lot of spicy stuff lately. So I shouldn't have the same repercussions that I had the last time I did this, which was, uh, it involved the baño. And if uh, you don't know what that is, um, translate that in Spanish. So I'm making the Samyang two times spicy noodle. Uh, the story behind this is I accidentally made these um, a couple weeks ago. I bought them at a store. So, okay, so the full story is I went to an Asian supermarket and I was looking for some cool random stuff. I was at work and I was in between stops. And uh, I decided, hey, I'm gonna grab a snack. So I walked in, I got some like tofu stuff. Um, I got like a cool, honestly, I forget what it was. They were pretty neat. But I also saw a package of ramen and it said double spicy ramen. So I was just like, okay, I'm gonna eat some ramen tonight. And I'm very good with spice, normally. And uh, so I wasn't expecting much. It was like store-bought ramen, you know, whatever. Anyways, so I saw this stuff. And I was just like, yeah, cool. Anyways, I go home and I make two packages of this. I take the first bite. And uh, <laughs> that was the moment when I knew I fucked up. But. Ever since then, well, okay, so I looked it up on YouTube afterwards. I was like, okay, so apparently there's like a spice challenge with this particular package of food, because I knew it wasn't normal. Like, I used to pop habaneros, and uh, yeah, no, this was like similar. <laughs> so I was just like, oh man, what did I get myself into? So anyways, tonight I'm going to film myself eating this in my room. I have some... Uh, chopsticks as well from a uh, Vietnamese noodle shop I went to earlier. Unfortunately, I had to do takeout because of COVID and all that stuff. There's a couple open noodle shops, which I like to go to, um, but I forget them by name because I'm not familiar with the language, and so uh, it's tough for me to commit their naming conventions to memory. But anyways, so I'm just cooking this up right now. Uh, what comes in the package is some spicy flakes and the sauce. Now, the sauce, as you will see, when it comes out is black as night. <laughs> it's just really like a violently angry looking sauce. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't mean to hype this up too much, but like, I don't know, the noodles were excellently spicy. Yeah, I figured this would be the best um, first episode for Spice Hunter because it's just, I don't know, this package of noodles. This little, this little chicken right there kind of kicked off this journey. Um, I'll be doing like the Packy One Chip Challenge too at some point. Um, I'm going to be... I don't know. We'll see if my stomach can do peppers. Because um, I'm taking care of my body a little bit better now than I used to. So my stomach might be able to handle it. But I was eating habaneros a while back. And um, they, I don't know. I spent like literally 12 hours in the toilet after, uh, after eating it. Like my mouth burnt. But that wasn't the problem. It was like my stomach afterwards that was trying to deal with it. So... I don't know what was up with that. Um, I, so I don't know if I'm going to be doing like straight peppers, but for some reason I'm really good with like sauces. My stomach's fine with the sauces and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to finish cooking these. I'll catch you guys in a few. All right. So the noodles are about soft enough, I would say. 
Ooh, that almost burnt my hand. Anyways, let's get this stuff into the sink. So it says to drain it a little bit. Um, maybe a little bit of water. So I'm gonna throw the sauce in. I'm gonna stir fry it for another like 30 seconds that it wants you to do. A little bit more water out of there. All right, there we go. All right, let's crack this bad boy open. There we go. So, yeah, that's the sauce doing its thing. All right, so we got all the sauce in there. So we're supposed to stir fry it for like 30 seconds, but I didn't really keep the heat on and uh, trying to handle the phone. Oh yeah, that's the smell. Yep, I remember that, okay. Yeah, I haven't eaten one of, like, the double spicy ones since a couple weeks ago. I got the normal spicy ones. And, uh, that was ones, those ones were alright. Um, I mean, they were spicy. They were still tough to get through. I guess that was, like, the old challenge. But, uh, these ones. These ones are... <laughs> Sometimes I say noodles, ironically. Like, oh, that was nuts. But instead I say noodles. I was just about to say that here. But, uh... <laughs> That would be pretty noodles if I said that. Anyways. Alright, so. I don't know. I'm hearing some sizzling, stir frying, whatever I think it's good to be. Now I'm gonna just fucking toss it in the bowl. And I got some flakes. I don't know what they really do for it in terms of taste, but uh, it makes it look fancy. So I'm gonna throw the flakes in there. And when your mouth is absolutely on fire, it's got a relevant. What a little bit of uh so I'm gonna open this bad boy as well. Hopefully this one doesn't completely deny my existence. There we go. Back sometimes nice and easy. Alright, and yeah, there we go. All right, that is the noodles. Now, let's eat. All right, so the camera angle's a little bit weird, um, but here we have the Samyang double spicy noodle. Also, future videos are not gonna be like this. But anyway, so I cooked this. Um, I recorded the rest of my iPhone, so this quality is gonna be super different because I'm actually using my camera. The audio is going to be a little bit different as well, uh, but whatever. This is my first video. I'm going to be unapologetic about it. And, uh, you know, I'll look back and be like, haha, what a goof. After uh, I have like, you know, 10,000 videos or something. But, um, let's do it. Samyang, two times spicy noodle. Fire noodle challenge. I got my chopsticks, I got my noodles. Let's fuck. <laughs> let's get it, baby. Alright, I'm just going to double check to make sure this thing's recording before I actually, uh... Alright, yeah, we're good to go. Alright, let's let's get it. I haven't eaten these in a while. I don't know, I'm kind of hyping this up for myself right now. Anyways. Really? Okay. I was expecting it to be a lot worse on the first bite. Now, the thing that sucks is, like, the shit burns and you gotta keep eating it. Um, 
well, it doesn't suck. I obviously like doing that. But, um, I don't know, I think I overhyped this. Because all I was thinking was like, shit, my blood's going to drop down my feet, my face is going to get all red. That's what happened the first time. But also since then, I've been eating a ton of spicy shit. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to shut the fuck up and just finish this. I don't think that packing one chip challenge is going to do too much, to be honest. I'm kind of looking forward to it now. I don't know, maybe I'm getting cocky. This is legit fine. <clears throat> like, it's spicy. Like, just spicy. But not like... It's not like the devil's nutsack spicy. Like, it's just spicy. Huh. I've been eating a lot of spicy stuff lately. I think that's kind of helping. Now, what I couldn't do is the five package thing. Some people eat five packs of this. Um, mostly just out of sheer quantity. I don't think I could happily fit that much stuff in my stomach, but also I wouldn't want to go to the bathroom after that. Um, your mouth and your stomach get adjusted to capsaicin, which is the spicy element in food at different rates and in different ways. So your mouth can get adjusted to spice very quickly. But also, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I read that uh, your mouth receives through capsaicin the chemical reaction um, to send uh, to your brain the, the signal of heat. So it thinks your mouth is like literally on fire, um, like fire is touching your mouth. Um, where it, and so it's a burning sensation, whereas your stomach, um, tends to, um, just relay, like, pain, um, but not, like, a burnt, not like a fire pain, but just, like, actual, like, pain signals. I don't know if your stomach's less advanced or something, um, in, in terms of, uh, I don't know, chemical reception or whatever, but, um, yeah, so it, it, your stomach and your mouth adjust to spice in different ways. Uh, my stomach, I think, is behind where my mouth is at. Because I would, like, a Carolina Reaper, for example, I know it's going to hurt like a motherfucker. I wouldn't be comfortable at all after I ate it. But I would do it if it was just the mouth sensation, because after, you know, an hour or two, like, I, I could flail around in pain, it would suck, but then it would be, <clears throat> but then it would be gone. Once it hit my stomach, though, that's why I don't want to eat those peppers yet. I really want to get comfortable to the point where, I don't even know if that's possible, maybe I just have to deal with it, but, um. My biggest fear with the um, the Reapers and the Ghost Peppers and stuff is just my stomach. Because the habaneros, I used to eat habaneros until, like, it was just too... Like, it got worse and worse. Like, my, my stomach was just so overwhelmed. By the feeling. I learned recently that eating spicy stuff on an empty stomach is going to make it, like, ten times worse or whatever. Um... Maybe I ate a habanero in an empty stomach, I don't even know. But, um... Yeah, I don't know, after that I was just like, man, I can't even do this anymore. Now look at me. Getting back into, uh, eating spicy stuff. 
Yeah, so the, these are spicy as fuck. Don't get me wrong. But, <clears throat> I don't know. It's not like, anytime I eat anything spicy, it's going to hit the back of my throat. My nose is going to run. But relative to either what I'm expecting or the other spicy stuff, I don't know. The first time I ate this, it was like a lot more of a struggle. You know what I gotta do? Hold on. <sighs> Ooh, it's sauce. Alright, well. <clears throat> Ooh. So, it's spicy as fuck. But, um, uh, could be a lot worse. I don't know. I'm going to try to push this shit to the limits and see what I can do. But, um, next time, next time I eat these, I'm going to do two packages. I'm going to be an asshole to myself. Probably dump sriracha sauce on it. Yeah, I think that's the move. Alright, anyways. I'm sweating. Yeah, I mean, this shit's spicy. It's not like I wouldn't casually enjoy this. Um, I probably will soon. I mean, honestly, I bought a bunch of packs of, uh, not just these, but also like the normal spicy, but the uh, kimchi and the ja uh, jajang. Jajang. I don't know how you pronounce it. Yayang. Um... I got a bunch of different noodles. I've been practicing, you know, spicy stuff every day. Um, I've been getting a lot of spicy, like, pho. Um, just, like, noodles and stuff. Anyways, I ate this. Tune back in. I'm probably going to eat the Packy One Chip Challenge next. A couple of my buddies dared me to do that. And then, after that, <coughs> I'm probably going to, um... Two of these, I'll call it like a uh, throwback to when I first ate this. Except I'm gonna throw a fuckload of, of um, hot sauce in there. I'm gonna record the um, process of making it a lot better. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. <coughs> I hate when people talk too much in YouTube videos, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So, have a good one. Thanks for watching.